Hey, good morning, family. I wanted to uh, start you off with a little serene view. This is uh, not luckily, but what I get to wake up to, up to every morning. I was going to say luckily, but I'm saying not luckily because I created this life. So luck would make it that it magically happened to me, and I don't believe that that's what happened or is happening. Anyway, starting off on that note. <laughs> It has been a hot minute since I made a video and I haven't really felt the need to talk too much recently. I've just been kind of sitting back doing my own work, um, having amazing conversations with people and just enjoying my life to be honest. Uh, but I want to talk to you guys about a few things this morning. Um, and the first one is, uh, well, I call this, are you pulling your transformation towards you? And I'll tell you what I mean by that in just a second. Um, but my brother and I more rigorously have taken on uh, morning routines these last few months. And I wanted to just offer you guys how important that is. You know, I talk to people all the time and they tell me what's lacking in their life, what they want more of. Uh, and then I say, well, what are you doing to invest in yourself? And the answer doesn't come back with much. Maybe they're reading a book, or maybe they've taken a course. Uh, but when I ask them about how to make existential changes or physical changes to their environment or their workspace or what they're doing for a career, they don't seem to want to take too much action. They have a lot of super valid reasons that are really nice to listen to, um, but they're not taking any consistent action towards something. So, you know, I'll offer little things like start listening to... Oh, cats are fighting. I wanted to offer... Um, <laughs> little thing is like listening to audiobooks while they're commuting but I would say more importantly is what what are you doing with your morning right before the world is loud before everyone's psychic energy starts taking up space in the world you have a massive opportunity to uh, go within listen to yourself uh, take a nice pleasant walk outside read a book uh, and enhance the overall quality of your life um, since November I have been meditating a lot and I want to bring this conversation to why that's been so impactful in my life. And uh, for the students of mine who are listening right now, who are on here, uh, who've been taking on 30 day challenges with us, I know a lot of them are way past 30 days, the results that they're reporting on a daily basis are just massive. And I want to talk to you a little bit about my own experience for the last 13 years uh, prior to doing this because I had spent uh, a really <laughs> good amount of time, for those of you guys who don't know what I do for business, um, you know, I'm in the IM space, but my passion is for global transformation and for working with human beings on empowering them and educating them on how they can break through and take responsibility for the things that they're having passive experiences in and start understanding that they're co-creating their life experience and they can, really can design whatever life that they want. Now, this might take some time, um, but breakthroughs don't take time. Uh, taking actions consistent with those breakthroughs so that the manifestation of what's changing inside shows up in your physical space, that could take time. But even that sometimes takes no time at all. And I wanna talk to you about how to shorten that time as well. So I've been doing this work for a long time in a, in a neuro, neurological space, in the psychological space, NLP, you know, everything that you kind of hear people throwing around, I have expertise in language and its effect on human beings, all sorts of different things. And after 13 years of doing this, and I have this life, this amazing magical life out of doing that work, don't get me wrong, I could feel that at the deepest parts of me, even though I've had all these mental exercises and I'm managing the ego and I'm managing my life and doing all these amazing things, I could feel that at the deepest parts of myself, the roots haven't changed. So it's like almost like right above the root level, everything is like hunky dory but then i look down there and these there's these responses these reactions that just never seem to fully transform themselves and that was concerning to me for a year there and especially concerning because i knew how much work i had done and again have this amazing life because all that works so i don't want to discount any of that work but here i am teaching people about how to heal themselves heal their relationships communicate at higher levels and i could feel that inside of myself these like full-on transformations that haven't happened so i think those thoughts started about three years ago and it led me to doing some pretty um interesting subconscious training a lot of you guys know that i've uh taken uh, ayahuasca for the last few years but it, it was also some other uh, subconscious reprogrammings that I've done that brought up a lot of weird shit out of my body and 
it culminated with me doing Vipassana this last November, which is a 10 day silent meditation. And since then I've been um, readily studying that or actually readily experiencing that. So you could say a lot of people uh, collect information are much more interested in collecting experiences. And I think that's one of the ultimate experiences that you can do. So something that's occurred to me recently and that I've been really working on and something I would offer you too, whether or not you know much about meditation, you know, people think about the act of sitting in silence as being an action and I would disagree completely with that. If you haven't experienced it, you know, take on meditation for the next 30 days and see how you do. But, you know, I'm looking at the things that I want to fundamentally feel different about. You know, I think most of us want to feel in abundance. We want to feel health. We want to feel love. We want to feel connection. If you guys are on here and you agree with that, you know, you can use the little icons on the bottom and let me know if those things are important to you. I know they are to me. And I was looking at how I felt about abundance and I constantly feel insecure about finances. And if you know our company, we've done extremely well and are consistently doing extremely well. And I'm super proud of what we do because it has to do with serving other people. And that's how I make my living is by making sure other people have great lives. Talk about being a fucking stud in terms of business and all that kind of shit. So, but I could sense that at the deepest parts of me, I'm still feeling insecure about finances. So I was sitting and meditating and I started thinking to myself, I'm like, well, guy, what's your number? Like pick that number. When are you going to feel secure? So I started imagining my business account growing and I kept growing it. I kept growing it and I got to like $10 million. So when I got to $10 million, I stopped and I, and I stopped not because I felt secure because I didn't feel any different at all. I didn't feel more secure. I didn't feel more abundant. I didn't feel anything different than what I was already feeling. And it occurred to me that no matter what number was in that bank account, I was going to continue to feel this way. And I was going to drive my life and take all these actions and try to cure this insecure by doing more and having more, which I think is a fucking disease to begin with. So I decided in that moment that, or I chose in that moment that there's nothing coming that's going to make me feel secure. And there's, and then I also decided or chose that that's going to apply to every area of my life. There's never going to be a perfect relationship. There's never going to be, um, you know, this connection with God that I ultimately want or anything like that. Like the circumstance doesn't arise. There's no perfect circumstance. There's no perfect time. So in my meditation recently, what I've been doing is I have just been allowing myself to feel the things that I've always wanted to feel. Not because the circumstance is there, not because everything is perfectly aligned, not because I'm being blessings are being bestowed upon me from the heavens or that magic is happening or anything else, even though magic is happening all the time. I could constantly look at my life and see nothing but positive everywhere. And I choose to do that every single day. But this has been kind of radically shifting my interior for no other reason than I'm allowing it to. And I, I would offer for everyone who's on here right now, everyone who's going to watch this later, um, is what the fuck are you waiting for, <laughs> right? Like all of us, it's like the perfect relationship, the right amount of money, like to feel secure, to feel these things when you can derive that feeling within yourself whenever you damn well please. So I am spending more and more of my time, which is why I haven't been speaking much on Facebook Live or doing anything outside of just what we do for business with the people that we work with, because I'm like, silent, suddenly silence feels great. I'm not deriving anything from outside of myself. I'm just being great. And you guys can be great too. Don't wait. Do not wait. And that's why I call this, like, are you pulling your transformation towards you? Because ultimately, I just see everyone's waiting, waiting for this someday. I used to have a mentor that said, everyone's waiting for someday. But I wake up on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I'm clear that if I wake up on a someday, all this great shit is going to happen all over the world. I just never wake up on some days. And I really adhere to that value. I think that's super, super smart. So here we are, guys. Simple technique. I offer you spend even 10 minutes a day in silence. Be with yourself. Pay attention to the sensations in your body. Breathe. Stop worrying so much and allow yourself to feel the love that you want to feel. Not because it's coming from the outside, because you're worthy of that love. Let yourself feel it. Feel the abundance in your life because life is 
abundant if we let it be. And that doesn't necessarily mean how big your bank account is. That's just one measurement that we stupidly use to describe success in this thing that we call life right now. And we can alter that conversation too. Let yourself feel connected to other people. Let yourself feel your leadership, your bigness, your size. Drive into that every single day. Know that you are somebody who's worthy of other people worthy of yourself and you can absolutely create the life that you want but it requires a little bit of work on your part maybe a lot of work on your part let's get real and if you are making excuses for why your life is where it is and you're complaining about it you're just sticking yourself in that hole over and over again and it might require you to wake up an hour earlier every day grab a book do a little meditation take care of your body, stretch, do some exercise, listen to a mentor, whatever it is, that extra hour that you invest in yourself over the year is going to make massive dividends in the quality of your life in the years moving forward. Invest in yourself. Do the work. I hope this message landed for you. Thank you for the guys who are listening. Uh, Enjoy for the people who listen to the recording. I love you guys. Have an amazing day. Absolutely allow yourself to pull your transformation to yourself. It's coming. It's coming. Bye guys. Have a great day.